There's our wonderful, uh, wonderful building, uh, 87 George Street. I think so. The heart uh, of the Byward Market. Michael, on uh, Thursday, there'll be um, uh, hundreds of people hopefully dropping down with food for the food bank. Oh, indeed. It's our food drive show. Yeah? Yeah, on Thursday. So yeah. they're dropping down with food? Yeah, yeah. We're going to have one of those pods out front there. We're oh. going to fill the whole thing. All right. Well, We're maybe. We're going to bring it over the food bank. I challenge anybody to bring a bacon wrapped meatloaf to put in that, that bin. No? No, no you challenge. don't want to do that. No, you don't want to do that. Non perishable. Non perishable, yeah. right. Yeah. Well, uh, speaking of which, yes. So you've laid out the bacon strips very delicately, uh, and you know nothing too particular. But um, overlapping it, we then take a, a you know a scoop. You could use your hands because uh, we were talking about Kurt's hands being the best tools in anybody's kitchen. And uh, <laughs> and so we're gonna <laughs> take a portion scoop, and you are you are adding the meat mixture. The forced meat is what they would call this a forced meat. Okay. okay? Like you would find in a pork pie or whatever. But um, it's got good amount of fat, it's got some vegetables, and then we do this, we do this. I'm using parchment paper. People ask me what my favorite gadget in the kitchen is. I don't really have a gadget, I have a favorite thing, it's called parchment paper. Yeah? Uh, yeah, I can do have virtually so many things. Really? So many things. This is one of them. Because what will happen is I'm going to roll this. Oh, I see. Like almost a wrapped sandwich, right. keeping it you tight. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Oh, I see what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, we roll it and we roll it, and then we don't even we don't even have to worry about what to do with the paper now that we've rolled it. We just continue rolling it, and then like a cracker, one of those festive holiday crackers, if you will, you twist it. Maybe you could twist one end. Okay. I'll twist the other one. Now, you're gonna leave this on. I'm going to leave it on because parchment paper is awesome in the oven. It won't burn. It won't uh, scorch and I'm going to then up it one more. We're going to roll it again. In the, the tin foil. And you know, the tin foil acts more as that secured device to keep this in a cylinder log. Okay, so we roll again. Yeah. And you know, you could take that whole meat mixture, you could take the bacon, you could line your meatloaf pan or bread pan that, that we've seen for years. I yeah. mean, I grew up in a home where yeah. meatloaf was served in a meatloaf pan. Yeah. Uh, but this is just sort of a nice little way of showcasing it in a different way. And so into just like that. In, just like that. And then about 375 degrees, right. you stick that into your oven and about 45 minutes to 60 minutes later it comes out. You pierce the tin foil on the parchment paper. You let the rendered fat out and then you are left with something very much like this. I've already taken the liberty. You've taken a chunk out of it. I have taken a chunk out of it, but you're left with a log where you have the nice moist mushroom filling. Mm. You're, it's wrapped in the bacon. It's crispened up a little bit because I warmed it in the oven before nice. we were serving it. And then we basically plate it up. We serve it up with some mashed potatoes, some frizzled crispy onions, some root veg, some beans, and again, the bacon wrapped meatloaf. I know how you are about your meatloaf. Your favorite I sauce. I like ketchup. You like ketchup. Your favorite sauce accompaniment is ketchup. Do you want me to try this bad boy? I think I would. I think I would very much. You could, you could just even... I just want to try it there. Yeah, get in there. I want some bacon on it, though. Okay. Right? Oh, look how... I, like the bacon's... Perfect. I even use, you know, with the bacon, we were talking about the smokiness of the beer, the oak house. Yeah. But I also use maple bacon. So you're picking up a little sweetness in there as okay. well. Um, and again, the mushrooms keep it moist. What with that sort of mushroom mixture, he's smiling and smirking. He's thinking about the holidays and how he's going to prepare this for his friends and family. He cannot get over it in his mind. How is it? It's like there's a little one of those little bubbles coming out of my head, you know? Yes, With yes. All the things that are thinking. Are you? I'm waiting. The drum roll with our tongues. It is the absolutely test of the taste. meaty good. Yeah. I want to try it with a little ketchup. It's a little decadent. And it's moist. Yeah? Are we buds? Are we still friends? <laughs> <laughs> yeah? That is delicious. <laughs> okay, good. Good. Well, I, you know, I've been coming on for months and months and months. Right. And t this is my favorite time of year to be cooking comfort food. Um, yes. Last time I was here, I think we did an etouffee, yeah. uh, like a, a nice slow-cooked chicken dish. Maybe in the new year I'll come back and we'll do something uh, heart healthy, something that puts a skip in your step, something that says let's get lean for the new year. You're um, welcome back anytime, my good friend. Thank you, Kurt. Thank you, everybody. You're missing only this. You all have a happy holiday. I you're all sit around eating warm chestnuts. What? what, what, what? You, you're only missing this soundtrack. Oh, Milo! Look at him. <laughs> Anything for love, they're playing Milo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at him. But he won't. He's also lip syncing. Uh, no, nice. no. No, okay. no. I'd hurry up and get the weather done because uh, otherwise there won't be any uh, this bacon wrap meatloaf left, my friend. That's my preferred meatloaf out of the two, by the way. Oh, is it? Yeah.